I'm Dr. Ermelinda Bonaccio, Chair of the Diagnostic and Interventional Radiology Department at Roswell Park. A magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI-guided breast biopsy, is a minimally invasive procedure done in our radiology department. A needle biopsy is the best way to determine whether an abnormality in the breast requires treatment or not. This video aims to answer some common questions about the procedure. How do I prepare for my breast biopsy? We encourage you to eat a light meal before coming in for your appointment. You don't need to fast. If you take blood thinners or aspirin, you may be asked to not take them for a period of time prior to your biopsy to reduce the risk of bruising and bleeding. However, many biopsy procedures can be safely performed with patients taking aspirin and blood thinners. If you were not given specific instructions when you scheduled your biopsy appointment, please call the Breast Imaging Center at 716-845-3014 to clarify. Plan on being with us for about two hours from arrival to departure for the consent process, IV placement, biopsy procedure, and mammogram. You do not need to have someone drive you to the appointment since you will not be receiving sedation. You will come to the second floor of the main hospital for your MRI guided biopsy. A radiologist will go over the procedure with you, get your consent to proceed, and answer any questions you may have. Be sure to let us know if you have any allergies to medications, cleaning solutions, or adhesives. What happens at my breast biopsy appointment? An MRI-guided breast biopsy uses MRI images to guide a biopsy device to an abnormality in your breast and to remove samples from the lesion. MRI-guided breast biopsies permit the evaluation of very small lesions that cannot be seen with mammography or ultrasound. Once you arrive, you will review the procedure with your radiologist and provide consent. An IV catheter will be placed in your arm and you will be escorted to the MRI suite. Next, you will be placed in a similar position to the one you were in for your MRI scan, which prompted the biopsy recommendation. However, this time you will have a compression grid placed against your breast. You will remain in this position throughout the entire procedure, and we will make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. A technologist will accompany you throughout the procedure to help guide you and answer any questions. Once you are in position on the MRI table, we will take a set of pictures. We will then inject a special dye through your IV, like we did for the original MRI scan. We can then target the abnormality on a computer, which tells the radiologist exactly where to place the needle. Once we have successfully targeted, we will clean the breast and numb the area with local anesthetic. After the anesthetic takes effect, we will insert an introducer, a thin needle-like tube, into the breast, pointing at the target. You should not feel any pain. We will then take another set of images with the introducer in place to verify the target for biopsy. Once we've confirmed the target, a biopsy needle with a small vacuum will be inserted through the introducer to take several tissue samples. The radiologist will then leave a small MRI safe clip at the location of the biopsy. This clip can be seen on a mammogram and will be a visual reference in case we need to further treat the area. You will not be able to feel the clip and it will not set off metal detectors or airport scanners. When finishing, we'll press on your skin at the incision site to ensure that it stops bleeding. Close the wound with steri strips and cover the area with a protective dressing. Next, you will be brought over to the Breast Imaging Center to take a mammogram of the breast to document the clip's exact location. And that's it. From start to finish, the procedure takes about 30 minutes. Will the biopsy hurt? Thankfully, the answer is no. Most patients do not experience any significant discomfort. You will feel pressure. Most patients report they are surprised by what they didn't feel. The injection of the local anesthetic is probably the thing you'll feel the most. You will initially feel a pinch and burning, but this passes very quickly. The NEMI medicine lasts for two to four hours and it takes effect fast, so the biopsy itself should be pain-free. 
What can I expect after the procedure? Before you leave the breast imaging center, we'll give you both verbal and written instructions about how to care for the biopsy area, as well as our contact information should any questions or concerns arise. If there is swelling or discomfort after the biopsy, place an ice pack against the area. You should be able to feel the cold through any layers of clothing and the dressing. If the biopsy incision bleeds, apply firm pressure with two fingers across the dressing for a few minutes. You can take a non-aspirin pain reliever such as Tylenol if you have any pain. Do not participate in strenuous exercise or activity on the day of procedure. Leave the pressure dressing in place until the following morning, then gently remove it and shower or bathe as usual. You should be able to resume your normal activities. How long will it take to get the results? At Roswell Park, all tests are done in-house by our breast pathology team. We typically get results in two to three business days sometimes even sooner. We'll call you as soon as your results are available to go through them and guide you through any next steps if needed. If the results warrant further investigation or treatment, Roswell Park has a multidisciplinary team of breast specialists, including radiologists, pathologists, surgeons, and oncologists, experts who are ready to guide you through the next steps. Why should I get a breast biopsy instead of surgery? A breast biopsy is a quick, accurate procedure that will tell us whether a breast lesion is cancer or not, and whether the area can be left alone or needs further management. If breast surgery is needed, a biopsy performed ahead of time lets your doctor know exactly what type of surgery to perform. If your breast biopsy is benign, you will likely not need surgery. We do typically recommend a follow-up breast MRI okay. in six months. We hope this video gives you an outline of what to expect from an MRI-guided breast biopsy. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to the Breast Imaging Center at the number below.